I thank God for giving another opportunity to continue our study on the role of women. In the few previous uh, sessions, we were dealing with the topic uh, regarding the Lord's ministry that was directed towards women. In that, uh, we have seen the high value and regard that the Lord has placed on women in His ministry and also the way in which he distinguished the role of men and women and set a pattern for us to follow. I want to move on to the next major section in our study uh, regarding ro women's role. In this sixth session, I want to focus on the role of women in the family. I am sure that all of us are very familiar with the things uh, that we are going to look at today. But I hope that it will once again renew our commitment to fulfill God-given responsibilities. I want to base our study for today mainly on Ephesians chapter 5, and also we will consider other supporting passages. Uh, we always read, uh, hear messages, and think about these truths very often. From all of these passages that we will consider, I want to point out the role of a woman as a wife in the family. Uh, the major portion of what we are going to consider today is from Ephesians chapter 5 verses 22 to 33, uh, which deals with husband and wife relationship. In this section, uh, we come across two major instructions given to wives about her godly attitude when it comes to a marriage relationship. These are submission and reverence. These two characteristics are very essential in a Christian marriage relationship. So, uh, if these two characteristics are found in a married woman, uh, she will be successful in playing her role as a wife in the family. All her responsibilities are to be based on these characteristics. Uh, before we start to consider these characteristics, we need to look at the thoughts that are being developed in chapter 5 uh, before this particular section, uh, which is verses 22 to 33, uh, that is dealing with the family. Apostle Paul is not just uh, uh, jumping right into the section about the family uh, without setting a strong foundation. The verses uh, from 1 to 21 is very important to understand the instructions uh, given to husbands and wives. Uh, just briefly, I want to point out certain things that are important in our study. I want to point out three things uh, that were highlighted here. Uh, they are walk in love, walk as the children of light, and walk circumspectly or carefully. Uh, these are general instructions to all believers. Walking in love points to the sacrificial love of Christ. Walking as the children of light points to a separated, fruitful spiritual life. Walking circumspectly points to uh, being responsible about the present time and live a spirit-filled life. When the husband and wife who fulfill these aspects of their spiritual walk uh, will be enabled to fulfill their responsibility, response, uh, respective roles in the relationship. It is a, a relationship that is built by focusing on the sacrificial love of Christ, striving to bring forth spiritual fruits, and being wise in understanding the will of God by being filled with the Holy Spirit. Uh, these instructions will help us to fulfill the individual responsibilities of husbands and wives. Uh, now let us consider the first instruction to wives, that is submission. Uh, just before we go into it, I want to point out verse 21, which says, Submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of the Lord. Uh, here the word submitting is used to all believers. This is applicable to all believers in the body of Christ. We have to consider each other in this attitude of submission uh, to 
one another. This is carried out in relation to God. All the believers are under the authority of God. So in this regard, we are to submit one to another as fellow believers. Uh, now let us move to the specific instruction of submission given to wives. Now this is a topic of great controversy among the modern uh, feministic culture. But when we understand this truth that is based on the word of God and practice it in accordance with the word of God, it becomes easy and practical. Uh, there are also other verses uh, that speak about submission. Uh, let me read some of these ver verses regarding uh, submission of wives. Uh, first, let us read uh, Ephesians 5.22, the passage that we are considering now. says, Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. Again, Colossians 3.18 says, Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as it is fit in the Lord. Again, Titus chapter 2 verse 5, Obedient or submissive to your own husbands. Again, 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 1, Likewise, ye wives, be in subjection to your own husbands, that if any obey not the word, they also may without the word be warned by the conversation of the wives. Uh, to begin with, uh, let us look at the verses from Ephesians chapter 5 and try to understand uh, more about submission. If we go through verses uh, 11 to 24, we understand the different aspects that are associated with the attitude of submission. The attitude of submission is made clear by uh, pointing out certain spiritual parallels. If you look at verse 21, we see that the fear of God is the means of submission. Verse 22 says, Lord is the motivation for submission. Verse 23, we understand Christ is the model of submission. And verse 24, we see Christ is the manifestation of submission. Now, uh, let's go through each one of these. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 21 says, submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of the Lord. Here we understand that the fear of God is the means for submission. You know, as I mentioned earlier, this is not specific to wives, but I'm using it here uh, in this relationship between husband and wife, uh, as it also falls under this category. In relation to the married uh, woman, if you understand this attitude of submission um, in your actions, in your family life, you will be successful and the Lord will be pleased. The means of submission is through the fear of the Lord. The fear of God means to respect or reverence God. It is a result that comes after recognizing who our God really is and it will bring an attitude of true reverence for Him. In this regard, uh, dear sisters who are wise need to understand Him in all His greatness, and that will lead to fear God, and it will become as the means of your submission to your husbands. Now we move to verse 22. Uh, we notice that the Lord is the motivation of submission. It says, Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. The Lord is the motivation for your submission in relation to your husband. In your submission, you are looking unto the Lord and doing it under His authority. You are doing it as if you are doing it to the Lord. When you think in this way, it it gives you the motivation to submit with the real uh, spirit of submission. In verse 23, we see Christ as the model of submission. We read, For the husband is the head of wife, even as the Christ is the head of the church, and he is the Savior of the body. 
Here the apostle is presenting a model to illustrate the kind of submission uh, for the wife uh, to her husband. It is based on an important truth that we all know very well. Just like Christ is the head of the church and is in subjection, husband is the head of wife and need to show similar attitude of submission. Husband is the head and wife should be willing to submit herself under the loving authority of the husband. It says Christ is the savior of the body which is church. He is the one who has the ultimate responsibility as the savior and the protector of the church. Similarly, since the husband is the one who protects and cherishes his wife, she should acknowledge and submit to his headship to complete their union in Christ. In verse 24, we read that the church is the manifestation of submission. We read, Now for the church submit to Christ, also wives should submit in everything to their own husbands. In the previous verse, the emphasis was the headship. Here it explains the result of the headship, which is submission. Church throughout the history stands as the manifestation of its submission to Christ. Husbands and wives need to look at this model and emulate the truth in their relationship. Sisters who are wives need to look at this model and understand how the church is in subjection to Christ and follow the same pattern of submission. Here, uh, note the expression, in everything, it is not limited to certain areas, but it includes every aspect of your family life. So submission does not come as natural, but it has to be practiced by truly spiritually uh, transforming as a child of God. That is why I brought uh, in the first part uh, the details from chapter 1 earlier uh, to show the need to look at the sacrificial love of Christ and to be illuminated by the true light and be filled by the Holy Spirit. When you have these truths fully practiced in your life, it becomes easy to be submissive to your own husbands. In every activity that you engage in every day of your life, may the fear of God become the means for your submission. The Lord may become the motivation of your submission. Christ may be the model of your submission and you may look at church as the manifestation of your submission. May God help us as we continue to consider this topic in the days to come. May his great name be glorified.